We have a large parking lot and paved area here, and every time it rains, the water comes this way because of the slope of the parking lot. And this area used to be a low area that held water anyway. The area was lowered just a little bit, dug out, and plants added that have deep roots that can absorb a lot of the water. And now the water comes in and it's absorbed by these plants and filtered by the soil here and it doesn't reach the street anymore. You want the water to drain within 24 hours. We don't want to create a mosquito breeding ground. Typically rain gardens are 6 to 12 inches deep, so they don't hold water for, for a long period of time. There are a lot of native plants that do well in a rain garden. Coneflower is, is very recommended. We have a plant called Allegheny monkey flower. It does really well in here. We also have some plants that aren't native, but they're well adapted to the area, like daylilies and blue flag iris. There's some cleome, viburnums. The most important thing when you're selecting plants for a rain garden is to pick things that can handle wet and dry, because the rain garden's not wet all the time. A good way to, to build an entrance to a rain garden is to use a kind of an inlet with lots of rocks, and that's what we've done here. This will collect the runoff from the parking lot, and it also breaks that stream of water to keep the soil from washing out of the garden later. And we've chosen to use the native grasses in the back end of the rain garden so that if water is flowing across, the grasses really slow and break up that stream if it's going to overflow and come out. Uh, they also have deep roots to soak up a lot of that water. The garden is shaped kind of like a bowl, so on the back end it comes up like the back edge of a bowl does. And we've placed some rocks there so that if the water does spill over the back, the flow is broken up by those rocks and then it's dispersed evenly across the grass behind that area. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.